Just a little bit thrilling. Yet another new sport at the Tokyo 2020 Olympics will be surfing. These days, many surfing competitions take place at artificial wave pools. Not so the debut Olympics. There, surfing will be in the ocean off the coast of Chiba, Japan. Tahara, Japan hosted the recent World Surfing Games. That's southwest of the 1998 Olympic Winter Games city of Nagano. And there, six Canadian surfers began their journey to the 2020 Olympics. On the men's side, Tofino, BC native Peter DeVries had a great opening round at this contest. The Canadian won his first two heats, even facing off against fellow Canuck, Sean Forster in round two in the process. DeVries would continue to rip up the swell, finishing 11th overall. The final Canadian team member, Cody Young, also had some early success in Tahara, advancing through his first three rounds of the event. Young, who resides in Maui now, found himself in round four. He finished in the third spot, sending him through the repechage rounds. Winning his opening heat handily, the Canadian could not find his wave in the next round and was forced back to the beach. Argentina's Santiago Muniz took the win at the event, with the top Canadian being Peter DeVries, who tied for 11th overall, Cody Young tied for 15th, and Sean Forster settled tied for 41st. On the women's side, two Canadian surfers, Bethany Zelasko and Mathea Olin, would face off in heat 89, going head-to-head -head with only two advancing. And it would be the two-time national champion, Zelasko, moving on to the repechage. In the end, the teen surfer based out of Dana Point, California, scored 8.3 in her last heat of the event, just missing out on a top 10 finish. Australian Sally Fitzgibbons would end up taking the victory, and on the Canadian front, Zelasko would end up in 11th overall. Mathea Olin finished tied for 16th, and Paige Oms took away a great experience for the Canadian side in Japan.